Good evening. I'm Representative Jennifer Selig, leader of the Utah State House Democratic Caucus. We are pleased to provide a democratic vision and to outline our priorities for our wonderful state during the 2013 legislative session. There are many challenges on the horizon for our state, but with those challenges come opportunities for innovation, improvement, and growth. As Democratic legislators, we are working diligently with our colleagues to find real solutions in order to achieve a goal I believe we all agree on, keeping Utah competitive. Keeping Utah competitive means ensuring every child in our state has access to a quality education from their first day of preschool to the first day of their career. We must have a vision for what our education system looks like and a staunch commitment to the meaningful steps that get us there. Our children, each of them, are precious to us. They are also the fuel that drives our economic machine. Our strong, competitive, and innovative workforce is what brings companies to Utah and what keeps them here creating jobs. We must do better. We must work harder to keep our kids in school, on track, and graduating. We must seriously commit to funding education. We must develop innovative funding solutions that plan for future growth and change. We have a 10-year plan for our roads, but no 10-year plan for our education system. This year, Democrats will offer a vision for education and a roadmap to get us there. Keeping Utah competitive means driving economic growth by capitalizing on our state's greatest assets, our people. We are fortunate in Utah to have an economy that is on the mend, but there are still many who are struggling. We believe that all Utahns, regardless of their background or neighborhood, should have opportunity to share in the abundance that our rebounding economy has afforded some. Keeping Utah competitive means healthy, safe communities where everyone feels comfortable in their homes, businesses, and schools. Utah's air quality is a serious health and economic issue and everyone needs to do their part to improve it. Yes, we need to spend less time in our automobiles, but we also need to look at all of the sources of our poor air quality. Safe communities are important to Utah families. How we keep our communities safe may be a divisive issue at the moment, but we can all agree we want to keep our children safe. While we support the Second Amendment and believe it confers a right to bear arms, we also need to examine what it means historically and contextually in relation to other constitutional rights. State and local governments have the responsibility to define how individual rights are exercised while ensuring a safe community. The Fifth Amendment gives us the constitutional right to private property. Local governments can establish zoning ordinances to determine how that property can be used. We do this to mitigate harm that a particular use of an individual right may cause to another person. And finally, keeping Utah competitive means an open, honest, accessible government that upholds the trust you place in us as elected officials. We all know these things are much easier said than done, and that is why we pledge to you that we are not only committed to these values as democratic legislators, we are also committed to taking meaningful action and shaping policy that reflects these values. I will now turn the time over to my colleague, Senator Gene Davis, leader of the Senate Democratic Caucus, to discuss specific measures we will take as Democratic legislators during this session. Thank you, Representative Selig. Tonight, I would like to speak with you about the legislative priorities of House and Senate Democratic Caucuses, starting with the foundation of our prosperity and success education. For Utah to remain competitive now and in the future, we must invest in education today. During this legislative session, we will propose and sponsor measures which emphasize early intervention and pre-kindergarten accessibility, provide schools with adequate funding, resources, tools, technology, and meaningful assessments they need to bolster student achievement. Attract and retain quality teachers while supporting their professional development. Support adult education training and technology research with programs like USTAR and ATC. 
create safe schools with adequate guidance counselors and nurses. By keeping our education system competitive, we're also keeping our economy competitive. In addition to policies that promote an educated workforce, we will work aggressively to foster a thriving economy that will ensure a prosperous future for all Utahns. We will propose and sponsor measures which support local and small businesses, keep families together by investing in rural Utah, offer tax credits for employing homeless individuals, and honor our veterans with workforce retraining and reintegration programs. As we strive for economic vitality, we also must strive to maintain and improve the quality of life we enjoy in Utah. As our population grows, we must make the policy decisions today that will ensure healthy, safe communities for years to come. Healthy communities must have access to affordable, high-quality health care. We have a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to improve our community's health by taking advantage of the three-year completely federally funded Medicaid expansion. Elected officials of our state's largest county have seen the fiscal and societal benefits of this expansion. And many of our Western neighbors, like Arizona, realize the importance of keeping all of their citizens, urban and rural alike, healthy and ready to work. Utah needs to lead, not follow. In addition to our support for Medicaid expansion, this year we will propose and sponsor legislation which safeguards victims of dating violence, protects children from secondhand smoke in vehicles, and evaluate the environmental impact and cost of Utah wildfires. And finally, we will make every effort to respect and preserve the trust you place in us as elected officials. We will develop policies and reforms that establish campaign transparency standards, foster civic participation, and increase accountability among all public servants. This year, we will propose and sponsor legislation which will provide election officials with conditional voting procedures during times of emergency, improve campaign finance transparency, and increase campaign fund expenditure restrictions. I will now turn the time back to Representative Jennifer Selig for her final remarks. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Davis. Now, more than ever, we must set aside partisanship and work on getting things done for you, the people of Utah. We will lose the best possibilities of our future if we do not join together as a strong, united force today. It is an honor for me and for all of the members of the House and Senate Democratic caucuses to represent you in the legislature. And we look forward to working with our Republican colleagues to address the great challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. Thank you and good night.